Nowadays, due to the increasing competition in the fashion industry, selling cosmetics has become extremely difficult. However, for our protagonist Nick, everything is a piece of cake. Recently, because of an accident, he has received a unique ability, with the help of which he can read other women's minds. He uses this ability to tap into their thoughts and to know their likes and dislikes. In this way, he is able to sell just about anything. With that being said, life was not always easy for Nick. To know how it all changed, let's rewind to a few months back, starting with our protagonist's introduction. Nick Marshall is an executive marketing officer who plies his trade in a large company in Shanghai. He is an excellent employee who always receives the best results for the company. However, there is one slight problem. Nick is a narcissist. He thinks highly of himself and also believes that all girls like him. Actually, Nick has always been this way, right from his childhood. Even as a kid, he used to flirt with older women so that he could get money from them. As Nick grew older, he became a playboy and started having one-night affairs with women. He even started calling himself God's gift to women. This guy should throw himself straight in the trash. Nick was married to a rich woman named Gigi, but their relationship didn't last long because of his extravagant lifestyle. He has a teen daughter, Alex, but the little girl is always cold to him as he has been absent throughout her life. Apart from this, Nick has several other women in his life. For instance, he lives in his house with his maid, Tammy, who takes care of his entire schedule. Also, a girl named Lola who works at his favorite coffee shop and also happens to be his crush. Despite being a virtuoso and attracting women and sleeping with them, Nick is oblivious to their psyche. This is a huge disadvantage for him as women are becoming the fastest growing consumer group in China. And since he has no knowledge of how they feel, selling products to them has become a challenging task. Nick finally realizes that he is in trouble when his boss, Dan, hires a woman named Darcy for the position of the company's new creative director. Nick was sure that the position would become his, but because of his lack of knowledge on women psyche, he has been disregarded. Meanwhile, we get to know that Darcy is one of the best marketing officers in the country and has a reputation of being daunting to men. One day, Nick calls his ex-wife, who is on the verge of getting remarried. However, instead of congratulating her, he simply asks about his daughter. Gigi informs him that she will be going on a fortnight-long honeymoon with her new husband and asks Nick to take care of their daughter, Alex, until she comes back. Despite being a terrible father, Nick loves Alex very much. But when he learns that she has made a new boyfriend, he becomes upset. There's not enough room in this place for two players. However, Alex doesn't care about his opinion, as he has never been there for her when it mattered. In the next scene, it is the first day of work for Darcy. She gathers everyone and delivers an inspiring speech, promising to help the company tap into the women's consumer market. She then hands all the employees a box of feminine products and asks them to come up with ideas to sell them. The box contains different products, like a waxing kit, a pregnancy test, lipstick, bath beads, etc. Later, at home, a desperate Nick tries to brainstorm ideas on how to sell the lipstick, but he can't come up with any. Just then, a thought comes into his mind. In order to know a woman, he has to become a woman. He then notices his daughter's phone and plays some songs from her playlist. After this, he tries several of her products and clothes, all while drinking alcohol. While he is at it, Alex suddenly walks in with her boyfriend. Embarrassed by the incident, Alex immediately sends her boyfriend home and confronts her father for going through her things. Nick tries to explain that he was just trying to find some ideas, but the little girl is having none of it and goes straight to her bed. Even after she is gone, Nick continues brainstorming ideas for the marketing campaign, but only ends up becoming drunk. As he is wearing high heels, he accidentally slips and falls into his bathtub, which is filled with water. To make matters worse, his fish bulb also falls into the tub, which electrocutes him, rendering him unconscious. When he wakes up in the hospital the next day, he finds a nurse looking after him. Surprisingly, he overhears her thoughts, where she is complaining about his unhygienic lifestyle. Nick is startled by the strange occurrence, but he doesn't think much of it and continues on with his day. Later, he heads to the park to clear his mind. However, all he can hear are the thoughts of random women. One woman is angry with her partner, while another is scared of becoming a lesbian, as she just made out with a girl. All of this terrorizes Nick, and he rushes to his office, but it gets 
even worse there. He learns that his female co-workers think badly of him. One woman calls him a jerk, while another makes fun of his appearance. With all this going around, Nick tries to rush to his doctor, but a co-worker drags him to the scheduled meeting. There, he cannot stop thinking about his new disease. But after a while, he uses it to read the women's thoughts and impress Darcy. In the evening, when Nick returns home, he walks in on Alex making out with her boyfriend. Like any other father, he gets angry and orders the boy to leave. But this just enrages Alex, and she says terrible things about her dad in her mind. After Alex leaves, Nick starts drinking heavily. As he is fed up with women talking bad about him, he goes outside with the same fish bulb and electrocutes himself, thinking that it will bring him back to normalcy. But the plan fails terribly. The following morning, Nick wakes up to find his maid cleaning the house. Surprisingly, she is the only person who doesn't have bad thoughts about him. Hence, he decides to share his secret superpower with her. At first, Tammy doesn't believe a word he is saying, but when Nick reads all of her thoughts, she is bound to believe. Tammy then tells Nick that he is the luckiest man on earth, as he has the ability to understand women. Hence, instead of removing it, he should take advantage of the ability. Nick also agrees to the concept, and he decides to use it to do the one thing he loves, seduce women. Later, he approaches Lola and again asks her out on a date. This time, he finally convinces her by reading her mind and telling her everything she desires. The next day at work, Nick starts getting along with his female colleagues. He helps them with their work and treats them with the utmost respect. He also learns that she is secretly working to secure Lotto Sports' project and offers to help. As the two continue chatting, Darcy finds out that Nick has a teen daughter who happens to dislike him. She then suggests he get new dresses for his daughter claiming that it is a big deal for girls. When Nick returns home, he finds Alex discussing an upcoming party with her two friends. He greets her friends, but they despise him for being a boring dad. However, he quickly changes their opinion by offering to take Alex out for shopping. This delights the little girl, and she forgives Nick for the earlier incident. In the next scene, Nick takes Lola out on a date and reads her mind to create the perfect date. After a while, he drops a drunk Lola near her home, who is desperate to get in bed with him. However, since since Nick wants to make a long-lasting impression on her, he makes up an excuse and leaves, promising to meet soon. With days passing by, Nick starts spending more time around women. His goal is to understand their psyche better so that he can become a better person. He also starts spending more time with Darcy and using his special skills, steals her ideas before she can even mention them. Although taken aback, Darcy decides to remain silent as she believes that she has started to like him. On the other hand, Nick's relationship with his daughter also begins to improve after he helps her find a prom dress. Just as everything is going good, Nick suffers a setback. He suspects that Alex's boyfriend is only dating her so that he can make love to her. One day, he tries to make her understand that girls should be wise while choosing their partners, but Alex is having none of it. Instead, she shouts at him that he has no right to suddenly barge into her life after 15 years and become an overprotective dad. This upsets Nick, but he knows that she is correct. Cut to a week later, Nick continues using Darcy's feelings for him to his advantage. Initially, he enjoys the success that he gets from it, but after a few few days, he starts feeling bad. It turns out that he too has started liking her. One night, he goes over to Darcy's place to design posters for the Lotto Sports deal. At first, they only discuss their work, but soon, they start drinking and having a romantic time. They play songs, dance, and share their life history with each other. As the two become extremely drunk, they pass out on the floor. Some days later, Lola visits Nick outside his apartment. She confronts him for not contacting her after their last encounter. This time, Nick feels sad, and to give her a sense of closure, he lies and says that he is gay. He also mentions that if he was straight, he would have married her for sure. Surprisingly, Lola buys the story and hugs him with a sigh of relief. On the day of the Lotto Sport presentation, Nick feels guilty for stealing Darcy's idea, so he tells her to pitch it instead of him. However, being the kind woman that she is, Darcy refuses, claiming that Nick came up with the idea first. Because of this, Nick has no choice but to agree. In the next scene, Nick again uses his mind-reading skills to impress the all-female panel at the presentation. As a result, his firm secures the Lotto Sport contract. However, Nick is sad about what he's doing to Darcy. Later, he stands next to a mirror and practices his speech, in which he is going to reveal everything to her. However, just before he can finish, Darcy interrupts him and takes him to her newly bought house. 
There, the two have another romantic date. The next day, Nick meets his boss, Dan, in his office and gets some good news and some bad news. The good news is that Nick has been promoted to the position of creative director. The bad news is, Darcy has been fired. Dan mentions that he had made a huge mistake by hiring Darcy, as she didn't utter a single word during the Lotto Sport presentation. This devastates Nick, and he reveals to his boss that the ad campaign was actually Darcy's idea. He also pleads with Dan to hire Darcy back. Soon, he decides to go look for Darcy, but on the way, he gets a call from his ex-wife, Gigi, who mentions that Alex was extremely upset on the call for some reason. Now, she has become unreachable. Scared, Nick immediately heads to Alex's party location and finds her boyfriend with another girl. He confronts the boy about his daughter, and the latter reveals that he dumped Alex because she didn't want to get intimate. This enrages Nick, and he threatens the boy before walking off. After a bit of searching, he finds Alex crying in the bathroom. He then hugs his daughter tight, and the two depart for home. Following this, he heads to Darcy's house and finds out that she's planning to leave for another city. In an attempt to stop her, he confesses everything. He tells her that he had a supernatural ability, with the help of which he stole her ideas. He also mentions that Dan has called her back to the office. When Darcy asks him why he did all of this, Nick replies that he was angry and envious at the time. As expected, Darcy is taken aback, and she berates him for ruining her professional life. She then asks him to leave and never contact her again. At night, a devastated Nick wanders around the streets. Despite the heavy rain, suddenly he notices hundreds of fish flying as if they are birds. But before he can comprehend anything, he loses consciousness. When he wakes up, two women are staring at him. It turns out that he was struck by lightning. Nick tries to hear the women's thoughts, but this time, he fails. With this, he realizes that his superpowers are finally gone. Meanwhile, Darcy is heading to the airport with her friend, but at the last moment, she changes her mind. In the last scene, as Nick watches an opera show with his daughter, Darcy approaches him and reveals that she has decided to rejoin the company and stay with him. The movie ends as Nick and Darcy start working at their office together as a couple. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.